Hey, Michaels and viewers, thanks for tuning in. I'm out here with my brother PJ. We're cruising around in the basin at San Diego Bay right now. We're just leaving the Konakai Marina. We're heading out on this beautiful 2012. 2012 Michaelson 43 Zeus. There's a little fog bank coming in, but we're gonna try and get some drone shots for you guys because this is our uh, next new listing. Hot new listing. Hot new listing. So this is a 2012. It's got about 680 hours on it. Uh, asking price is 675 LLC. Um, really nice boat. So we're gonna see if we can get some neat footage for you guys of the boat underway. Show you what it's all about. Give you a little walkthrough of it too if we can but uh we're up here in the flybridge i'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys all the electronics and everything so you can have a better look for yourself so first off you have garmin 4212 displays uh two of them those are 12 inch screens these are actually push button which some people actually prefer myself included because uh, the new touch screens when you're in a seaway it can be can be a little tough when you need to touch just the right place um, we've got our, our mercury vessel view displays showing us all our zeus information these are my favorite they're um they don't make them like this anymore but these give you your your pod position your sky hook your um, instant fuel consumption your load a lot of really cool information brought, brought up on these screens um, and actually one of the cool things that we'll demonstrate for you guys because we can this is a zeus boat so we have sky hook so I'll just actually stop the boat now and uh, put the sky hook on. And even though it's just my cameraman Sam and I on the boat, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna push the sky hook. The boat will hold its position and its heading. And so we can sit here all day long and walk around the boat. We don't need to worry about running into anything. It's anchorless anchoring. Um, so let's let's walk around and do a quick uh, quick walkthrough. Obviously up here in the flybridge, we have a really nice um, dinette up here that makes into a bed. We've got our aft station, um, pretty typical on a Michelson and exclusive to Michelson, our, our tournament control station, which is great for docking and tournament fishing. Uh, and then we have our forward helm, our cruising station. Um, come on down the, uh, the staircase to the cockpit. Really nice transition, again, this is one of the greatest things about a Michelson is the staircase. Um, really easy transition, whether you're young, old, whatever, it's safe, it's easy. You can go up with uh, your hands full of food and drink and it's really comfortable. Um, down here in the cockpit, we've got the, the teak decks, our standard in transom Michelson bait tanks with the windows, uh, those are lighted. We've got our, our day head here, which is full of stuff at the moment, so I'm not gonna open it up for you. Um, and then our tackle center. We've got our overhead tackle center with another 4212 Garmin display, just like upstairs. Um, and then our, our sink, our nice tackle center, slide away doors there. And again, I just want to point out, while we're standing here, nobody else is dri driving the boat, it'll just hold this position. And you can see a little prop wash here. You can hear the engines revving up a little bit to keep us in this position and this heading. And uh, this is a, a pretty amazing feature that you get with a, a Michelson 43 Zeus. Coming into the salon here. This boat's nice. They've got a, a nice carpet runner to protect the, the light co colored carpet. Um, this is an aft galley version. So again, all the contents of the refrigerator move to the back of the refrigerator instead of falling at your feet when you open up the door. Uh, really nice granite. This is an aluminum honeycomb back granite to save weight. Um, with our beautiful cherry sea rails. Um, our standard uh, starboard side dinette. So this makes into a bed. This is probably the best place on the whole boat to sleep. Uh, that table drops down, there's a cushion that goes on top. And so this is a really nice uh, convertible dinette that makes into a berth. On the port side here, we've got our, um, our settee. Sometimes people put another dinette table, they just have an ottoman. You can move this, but it's got storage inside, which is nice. A cushion on top, so this kind of becomes a nice lounging area as well. Um, and then moving forward here into the front part of the boat, we've got our, our head to port. Um, really nice uh, polished chrome uh, bathroom fixtures. And again, the same granite in the galley. On the starboard side, we've got our guest stateroom. 
nice uh, nice stateroom and then you know one of the neat things about this is you've got this Pullman style bunk that drops down so if you do uh, need a place to put your luggage or you have another person sleeping in here or a kid you can put them right up here um, and then Sam will walk in and show you the master uh. Really nice, Scott. Storage on both outboard sides of it. You have your own TV in here, and then you have another door right here that leads into the head as well. Head it back out. Nice boat. Oh, one other thing I, I want to show you guys is our overhead rod storage. Uh, no rods in, at, in it at the moment, but you can see um, all the panels drop down. You can get some nice rods up there, up and out of the way. Again, it's a fishing boat, but you don't want it to feel like a fishing boat. You want it to feel like a, a home on the water. Um, so, again, we can leisurely cruise around the boat, not have to worry that we're going to be blown into anybody else, um, even though we're, if you look around, we're out uh, in the middle of the channel here. Uh, the boat will just sit here all day long. As long as we have diesel to run the engines, we can sit here on Skyhook and relax. So, um, let's head back up to the flybridge, and uh, we'll go out and see if we can get some nice drone footage. Again, a little foggy today. You can see the big fog bank out there. Uh, should be an interesting day for a, a drone shoot. Hey, Michaels and viewers. Welcome back. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. PJ and I left the five mile an hour zone, so now we're going fast. PJ's luscious hair is blowing in the wind. We just wanted to show you how stressful running one of these Michelson 43s can really be. We're doing about 20 knots. I'll flip it around so you guys can see. 20 knots. Well, they got a sub coming in. Oh, there's a submarine coming in. One of the coolest things about San Diego Bay is the constant military presence that there is. You always feel very safe, but also it's just really cool. What other city can you see a submarine coming in when you're trying to go out to drone a boat? So I'm not sure how these guys are gonna feel about me videotaping, but hopefully they're okay. PJ's making sure that our VHF is turned on in case we start getting yelled at. But, uh. Feeling pretty lucky to be cruising around on this beautiful Michelson 43 this afternoon with some very interesting weather with uh, this cloud bank running in. These guys are waving at us, so I think we're all good. I wish this camera had zoom on it, guys, but right to the right of that pilot boat with the orange hole is just the very tippy top of the submarine. And you can see how cool our Navy guys are right there being our Keep little us keeping us away from it probably wondering what the heck I'm doing with this camera microphone set up on this boat get get, it. get a nice shot of PJ's hair blowing in the wind it's pretty cool you guys so it's right on the other side of this number 11 pilot boat with the orange hole so hopefully we'll be able to see it in a sec I hope the contrast and exposure and all that stuff is good I've been Learning more and more about the camera as the more videos that we make. Looks like a joint operation with the Canadians. Oh, that's Air not Canada. Canada flag, is <laughs> I don't think it's a Canadian flag. Maybe like a Semper Fi or something like that. Yeah. If you know what kind of flag that was, please leave the correct answer in the comments. All right, now back to our normal Michelson videos. I hope that we could get some good shots for you guys with uh, all this. Kind of neat in the fog. Yeah, the fog really is pretty cool. Assuming you can see the boat. I'm also I'm using this microphone instead of our normal like little lapel microphone that we use. But this boat is just so quiet; it's amazing. I only use it because it blocks out the wind noise, but. It's very easy. We have all the enclosure open up here. We're cruising along doing 20 knots and you're not yelling at your friends when you're trying to talk to them. 
just really comfortable. Looks like we're gonna have some wind today too, which is always fun to fly the drone with some wind on top. Show the fog bank out there. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna flip the camera around to the fog bank. Look at that, all the way up the point, all the way down. Pretty cool. So this is what November's are like in San Diego. We're wearing t-shirts and shorts with the enclosure open and we're still sweating, very lucky. All right, guys. We'll give you some more updates after we shoot some drone footage. Wish us luck. All right, guys, this is our final update. We just landed the drone. PJ caught it on the bow of the boat. This is probably the sketchiest drone one that we've ever done just because the wind out here right now. I'll flip the camera around in a sec so you guys can see, but it was probably blowing, I don't know, a good 20, 25 knots offshore and the drone can only go that fast. So it's really hard when the boat is going into the swell to keep the drone going the same and blah, blah, blah. But we had a great time doing it. We're still having a great time out here. It's a beautiful day in San Diego. Great boat, a lot of fun. Uh, handled the seas, perfect. Like uh, they all do. Like they all do. Lobster trap. Got a lobster trap coming up in front of us. We've got a couple lobster boats out here. Tis the season. Yes. But you guys, what? Just a great boat. All these 43s just built like tanks. They can take on anything you throw at them, so. We'll put up some drone footage so you guys can see what we put it through. And that is about all I have to say. Please uh, don't forget, subscribe to our channel, comment below what you guys wanna see next. We, um, we're not big filmers or professional vloggers or anything like that. We're just a couple guys out here trying to sell some boats. What else? Get some people into their dream boats. Design cool stuff. Call us, email us, ask us questions. If uh, we can answer any more questions, if anybody wants to come down and see this beautiful boat, it lives in San Diego, we'd be more than happy to get you aboard and uh, take you on a walkthrough. I think we need to get some more fishing videos. Fishing videos are fun. Fun to make, yeah. fun to watch. Fun to make. Fun to make, fun to make. So you guys, today is what, November? 8th, 7th, 8th. 8th. November 10th is PJ's birthday, so everyone can wish him happy birthday, but really exciting things are happening at Michelson Yachts right now, you guys. We have a lot of boats on order. Um, the first Gen 2 Michelson 57 will be here end of January, so we'll have a ton, a ton of footage on that. Um, we got a new Nomad coming in probably um, right after the first of the year. Uh, a couple new Gen 2 43s on order. Some cool stuff going on for sure we have uh an existing nomad of the 2020 nomad the last one that we built that's heading down to cabo and then up to la paz and loretto i think they're leaving on thursday of next week so look for some pictures or videos from that i have some more pictures to put up on instagram people have been catching bluefin at san Clemente still it's just been off the charts the fishing the boating the economy it's all good it's all good God bless and uh, thank you guys for watching our videos.